Hello there everybody, it is me Feaser Bunny, and welcome back to Hogwarts. So today we are finally working on the Ravenclaw common room. Now I'm so excited to finally show off my version because I know that we don't actually get to see a lot of the Ravenclaw common room in any of the Harry Potter media and shout out to all the Ravenclaws out there. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this episode and I'm so excited because I've finished building this like months ago and I just can't wait to finally be able to share it with you guys. Like I said in the earlier parts of the series, each common room is going to be special in their own way and the Ravenclaw common room is special because of its layout. So this is the most spread out common room. It's spread over three floors in Hogwarts because I believe it is said in the books that Ravenclaw Tower is a thing and that is where the Ravenclaw common room is located so I made sure to locate it in some sort of tower in this version of Hogwarts which was really really difficult but that was a major consideration I had when I started working on the series. I definitely wanted to make sure that each location is where they're supposed to be in the castle itself and I think I should probably talk more about that later on when we actually get to the castle bit because right now we are actually crafting some stuff here in Newcrest. As per usual, I think most parts are going to involve crafting maybe save for one or two parts, we'll see. But right now we're actually working on these wall details which I would like to call wall tracery. Um, I just made that up, but yeah, tracery are these details that you see a lot of in like gothic architecture. It's kind of like the window detail that you see, and I ended up doing that because the Ravenclaw common room actually had quite a few other versions before I settled on this final version. I think I'll probably post that on Twitter at some point, but yeah, the first couple of attempts didn't quite work out. For gameplay purposes, I wasn't able to um, do what I wanted, so I had to make some major changes, which you can see. I actually changed the shape of the Ravenclaw Tower. I did foreshadow this, I believe, in part one of the series, so yes, we're finally addressing that. But yeah, I did change the shape because I needed more space, and there you had a little sneak peek of all of the stuff that I actually prefabricated for this build. So yeah, we're just plopping in a lot of the stuff that we prefabricated. Um, the windows are like back to back because I wanted like white windows on the inside and I wanted like the wooden ones on the outside to match the rest of the castle. So I did this trick where you can actually use the tool mod to do like back to back windows and it was really effective. I got the effect that I wanted and I'm actually still really happy with how the Ravenclaw Tower came out. The one thing I was mainly worried about was how it would look on the outside because I didn't want it to stand out from the rest of the castle because I wanted the castle itself to be cohesive. So yeah, it's gonna look slightly different from the house tour videos that we've seen at this point because those were pre-recorded months back but I think moving forward that's how it's gonna look like and in this part I also included some parts of me working on the viaduct entrance which if you don't recognize is the entrance that has kind of like the wild boar statue I don't actually know what that is called oh actually no it's the Hogwarts right um I think According to legend, quote unquote, um, I think they found Hogwarts because they followed like this boar or something. Once again, I haven't read the books, I just read the wiki. I spent hours and hours on the wiki reading the lore. And I think, yeah, that's where the name Hogwarts come from. But yeah, there is a statue of a boar right next to where that staircase is. I think I'll put that in in the next part or something. Not sure if I had footage of that, but yeah, um, keep an eye out for that, I guess. But the viaduct entrance does lead to the Ravenclaw common room. And the Ravenclaw entrance actually has a knocker. I think it's a raven knocker. Again, feel free to correct me. I really should have had notes um, just to 
make sure that whatever I was saying was correct, but you know, we're pretty spontaneous here on the channel, so yep, um, you're always welcome to point out whenever I say something incorrectly. So yeah, feel free to point out whenever I say something wrong, but as for the Ravenclaw common room itself, as I mentioned earlier, it's actually spread out over three floors, and there's technically two common rooms for Ravenclaw, which is pretty luxurious, I must say. They definitely have a lot of space to work with, so on this lower level, we have kind of like the main common room, which is more of like a lounge. And then there is another kind of like common room on the tower area, the area that we worked on earlier. And that is more of like a workshop type of area. I'll talk more about it when we get to it. But I tried to be consistent with what we know about the Ravenclaw common room, which is the fact that it's a very light and airy room. Obviously, there's a lot of blue, which are the house colors. And there's also a lot of books because Ravenclaws are known to be knowledgeable, intelligent, they're also known to be creative and witty, and in my opinion, they're also known to be quite eccentric as well, so I wanted to include a little bit of that. I I think out of all of the common rooms, Ravenclaw was the one that I had the least knowledge on, because I feel like the other common rooms you could easily like describe it in a word or in a phrase, like the Gryffindor common room, definitely a medieval castle. Um, Hufflepuff is more of a country cottage, and Slytherin to me feels more like a gentleman's club. For Ravenclaw, I decided to approach it as kind of like an almost renaissance workshop of sorts. So if you imagine people like Leonardo da Vinci or Galileo, um, that's kind of the vibe I was going for, so I know that Hogwarts is supposed to be like a medieval castle, but I definitely drew heavily from that renaissance inspiration because I feel like that's what Ravenclaws are. I think the essence of being Ravenclaw is being a polymath or a renaissance man, which is somebody who is very versatile when it comes to multiple different skills. So there's also a lot of skill related items in this common room as well. There's some stuff to work on your creativity skill, um, also on your logic skill. And also I put a harp in here, which was crafted after I actually built this and filmed this footage. So you won't see me actually put that in this video, but I've already posted previews of it on Twitter even before I officially announced this series actually, but there is a harp and that is supposed to represent music or like the musical skills. So yeah, this is the first of the Ravenclaw bedrooms. And in my opinion, I think the Ravenclaws have my favorite bedrooms because they may not be the largest, but I love the aesthetic and the color palette because i actually really like the blue even though green is my favorite color i really really like how these rooms turned out i did use that i believe it's an art deco wallpaper from high school years as well as those columns from discovery university and they work so well to bring in that light that we associate with the Ravenclaw common room. And speaking of lights, I feel like there's also quite a lot of symbolism when it comes to the Ravenclaw common room being the most light and airy out of all of the common rooms because I feel like the Ravenclaws are like the most enlightened or in other words, they're the most intelligent and knowledgeable out of all of the Hogwarts students. I might be wrong in saying that, but it's really interesting that that trait of being a Ravenclaw is also, is also reflected in their common room as well. Anyway, moving on to the upstairs bedroom. So in keeping with what we've established with the Gryffindor common room, I decided to make this the boys dormitory because I also put the boys dormitory upstairs in the Gryffindor common room. So yes, we are working on this little detail right here, this little corner. And I really love it. I feel like we incorporated quite a lot of personality in this room. And that little corner that we had with those 
um, trunks because in my mind the student who sleeps there um, it's kind of like a Galileo type student they're very curious and they're also kind of like an engineer or an architect of sorts so I put some little blueprints in there and some plans and a little flag that's supposed to signify Ravenclaw pride and here I'm just adding in some of the typical stuff that you would expect in the common rooms which I'm also going to be adding in with the other common rooms as well. Make sure to put a broomstick in the dormitories and also at least one wash basin for all of the dormitories as well. But I'm really really happy with how the bedrooms came together and I gotta say those beds that we crafted look so perfect. I don't think I could pull off this aesthetic if we didn't do those beds. Oh and I also really like that little chair. There's this little blue chair next to one of the beds and I really really like that aesthetic. It looks so witchy. Um, there's this anime called Little Witch Academia and I don't know why but for some reason when I did that it just reminded me of Little Witch Academia so. And now we have finally reached the exciting part which is actually the Ravenclaw Tower. Now I feel like when people say Ravenclaw Common Room this is the room that they would expect and I feel like you guys didn't see it coming because like I said earlier um, there is a lot of rooms that make up the Ravenclaw common room and I feel like this is definitely a room that captures the essence of being a Ravenclaw particularly the fact that they seem to be the more eccentric people and also the people who have the most thirst for knowledge. So you guys can see those wooden details that we prefabricated earlier. They look so amazing. I had different objects planned for those. I initially intended to use those stone arches from Get Famous. Unfortunately, they blocked the way so the sims couldn't route around them so I had to get rid of those and think of another way to add more details to this room and I'm really really happy that that happens because I just really really love this aesthetic. I believe the colors of the Ravenclaw house are actually blue and copper so I did try my best to actually incorporate that we don't have a lot of copper items but you know all of the blue mixed with gold and brown I think also kind of give off that vibe. And there's a telescope in there which is not functional because telescopes don't work indoors. And also on one corner of this room there is a statue of Rowena Ravenclaw. Actually I think we do see the Ravenclaw common room in the final Harry Potter movie but literally it was so dark I couldn't see anything so that didn't really help much. But over here we have a little table which in my opinion is kind of like more of the workshop aspect. You know there's like books in there and some chests. They can you know read up on history and alchemy and astronomy. There's definitely a very strong astronomical theme in here as you can see with a telescope and with that little I believe it's called an astrolabe if I'm not mistaken and there's also a chair in there as well. And yeah, really really happy with how everything came together. There's also quite a lot of marble in here and of course a blue ceiling. How can I forget hashtag ceiling gang? Um, but we are approaching the end of this video actually so I hope y'all enjoyed it as always. I'm doing my best to be consistent with my uploads and I'm really really excited for you guys to see the next episode because it's probably going to be the longest one yet. So please keep an eye out for that. And with that being said, I just want to thank you all so much for all of your support and your feedback. And yeah, I hope you all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.